Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. I hope that you all are having a great day. Still trying to, you know what? Why bother hiding it? A lot of people saw it already. Anyway, the Karata's back. Video on that coming real soon, but it's back. And I think you guys are gonna like the update. Anyway, ZR1 looking epic in the new C8 Corvette Rapid Blue. All about it. I'm like so just lo loving it. I love it. Everybody in the comments loved it. Everybody loves it. Got all kinds of compliments driving it around for like two hours. And in that time period, I think I had like three people say like, dude, I love the color of that car. It's different, you never see like a bright blue Corvette. Maybe back in the day with like a, uh, um, you know, like a C2, C3, but I can't recall a four, five or six besides like the ZR1 uh, lightning blue. Even that was a lot darker than this. And I can't wait for C8 Corvettes to be driving around in rapid blue. It's gonna be epic. Video on that coming soon, I prom like real soon, I promise. Uh, anyway, we have a box right here and uh, we have another mod for the GT500. Now this is a mod that I've wanted to do since day one of getting the car. I think all 2010 and up Mustangs should have this mod. It, it is a must have. They are expensive and uh, to be honest, on that note, I'm not sure why I'm even doing it because I'm, <laughs> I'm already giving the car away to one of you guys, but I wanted to do it and I it, it just wouldn't be right. Anyway, we're gonna grab our box here and uh, we're gonna load it up in the Dirty Max. I would drive the vet, but it's looking a little wet outside and like it might rain, so I'm not about that life. Caught like a rat. Look at my McDonald's bag from being on the road. I love, I'm not gonna lie. Now I try not to eat fast food all the time, even though truthfully, I love McDonald's. Road trips. I splurge and I get uh, I get Mickey D's. Does everybody else call it Mickey D's or is that just like a PA thing? Because everyone here says Mickey D's. I'm sure it's like national. Let me know in the comments whether you call it Mickey D's or not. Shout out by the way to Cobra Built on Instagram. My boy, we used to play a lot of Fortnite back in the day. He uh, found those online uh, from a buyer and was like, hey, do you want me to get these for you? You know, just PayPal me or whatever. So he hooked us up. Before I forget, oh, somebody's in that car right there. Okay. <laughs> Before I forget, if you want to win that car right there, only five days left to win. That's right, five day, five or six, depending on when you watch this. But yeah, not much time left at all. Every five bucks spent on in chain designs is an entry. You can get as many entries as you want. If you get a key tag, 10 bucks, that's two entries, and uh, you know, so on and so forth. But really cool car 2012 GT500, six speed manual car. Uh, 2013 upper and lower GT500 grille, uh, GT350R style wheels, Corsa exhaust, and of course a new mod today. Don't know what it could be. Whoa! With a squatted Hummer on stock wheels. That's ugly. That's pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. It's not BRZ, dude. Listen to that FRS. Is that the Scion version of the Subaru, Bam? Is it Subaru or Scion? Oh, this is one of those Tiburons. Curtis! Where is he? Curtis! Oh my God, there he is. Curtis, I got a box for you, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think? It's green. Uh-huh. I think these are actually gonna look really good. Hey, bam. What are you doing? It's gonna look so much better. This should be like a five minute install for us. Oh yeah. Now Curtis and I, when I say we, I mean Curtis, did the GT500 exhaust. And that took about 20 minutes. Yeah. I think we can bang these out pretty quick. Oh, heck yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's why you're excited. Look at it. Oh yeah. Bro, how much cooler is that than the ones that are on it? Those are hideous. Yeah, they're really bad. But those. You don't realize until you see these. Yeah, until really you bad. see that. Yeah, it's epic. Oh. oh my God. That is going to look so good. That is going to look so much better. LED rings. Wish people would stop calling. 
John? Mike. What are you doing? Uh, about to drop the pup off and then meeting uh, another guy for a cigar. What are you doing? Well, you're interrupting me at work. Shane, you're playing around with his emblems over there. Yeah, I know. Look at him, he's organizing them, stacking them. Oh, I'm gonna move that BRZ out of the way. Or an FRS. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's a Tiburon. I'm sorry, oh, dude. Man, that's worse. I'm sorry. Come on, man. Veloster. Oh, Veloster. I don't know what's worse, it's Tiburon or Veloster. <laughs> okay, we are ready for the install. Let's go, boys. Yes. New tail light's gonna look so much better than these candy cane ones. Oh. Big old Mustang boy. I love this car, I really do, I, I really do. Like I don't just say it because like, oh, you know, I want people to participate in the giveaway. I love this car, it's a great, great vehicle. Like I really enjoy driving it. Way better than I thought it was gonna be. Like I really did not think it was gonna be that much fun to drive and whatnot, but it's, it's really nice. Like you're gonna love it if you win. So if you wanna enter, I would recommend it. So, yeah. want to press on the brakes and use the turn signals, or do you want to film? It's up to you. You do it. Okay. All right, demonstrate for us, please. Tail lights. Brake lights. Now what's cool is, it's still sequential on this car, but it's gonna look a lot better. Thank you, Curtis. The grill is in there. Nice. Yes. And a gum wrapper. So you're, you've already done this. Okay, well. <laughs> you're just unscrewing already? I was gonna analyze. Oh, and, and, and these two and then have a plan of attack marks. here, okay. And then once those are off, we can just slide this down. And okay. Oh, okay. Good to go. All right. Texas gun stickers right there, truck tailgate kits, flags going out, shipping out right now. Everything on the site is in stock. So when you order for the giveaway, it goes out like the same day or maybe the day after, depending on how many orders we get, but it's gone out real quick. Yo, if you ordered a backpack, they're in production. Sorry for the delay. Some of you guys have been waiting for the camos. They'll be done this week and be shipped out. So if you're waiting on that, that's the reason why. Flag stickers, political stickers as well. This giveaway is open to Canadians. We got the desert camo shirt, desert camo with the maple leaf, knives, all kinds of different ones there. Really cool, they sell out quick. Green Street Speed, Street Speed Cola. We do have some Jeep shirts left over as well. If you want one of those and Hey Buddy shirts. All the different generations of GT500, the front end, really, really cool design, which I came up with. You can see they're selling out really quick. We had this whole shelf is full in the last vlog and now they're about empty. So if you want one, uh, get one quick for sure. And I don't think we're gonna have time to restock before the giveaway is over. So if you want something, you gotta get on that website. Uh, we also have Stang Life, the American flag and the Nervous Stang Life shirt as well down here. I think I forgot to talk about those, but I, I like that one as well. 30 on, there you go. On the 13 and 12 are a little bit different. So there's gonna be like a gap right here but actually that doesn't look bad at all. Wait, so these are 13 taillights on a 12. Yeah. Dude, that gap, like people talk about that gap being bad, you can't even see it. Oh, let me, let me show the people. Yeah. Hold that. That's not even bad at all. Dude, you choose you're just saying that's bad. No, some people Come on are like, now. Dude, you gotta get the new bumper to go with it. Like, it's not, not even you that can't even bad. notice that. So good, yeah, a lot of people say like, oh, the gap, which uh, the 13 and 12 bumper is different for Mustangs, but I mean, that doesn't look bad at all. I mean. It's a little bit of a gap, but you would never like, you would never notice that. If it was like a bright blue color, like grabber blue or grabber green or whatever, gotta have a green, you might see like the black in there that might stick out worse than being a black car and like a, you know, really busy wrap like we have. But I think that's fine. What do you think, Curtis? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, you can't even notice. That looks perfect. Like 1400 new. But I found these are off a uh, erect. These are off a wrecked Boss 302. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine that somebody wrecked their Mustang. But yes, those are <laughs> off of a wrecked uh, 2013 Boss 302. Okay. Oh heck yeah! Thousand times better. All right, Pam, you want to do the honors? 
Give me, yeah, give me the, the lights, yeah. tail, give me the brake lights and the turn signals. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yep. Thank you, Bam. This is gonna look great, guys. Oh my God, it looks so much cooler. Yes! God, I love the LED surrounds. What do you think, Curtis? Dude. Oh my God, that is sick. Yeah, if you have a, uh, a 2010, 11, 12 Mustang, you have to get those taillights. They look so good, so good. Thank you, Bam. Wow, let me know in the comments what you think, but I'm a huge fan. Definitely worth the money. I know I don't get to keep the car, but I had to hook you guys up with it. I mean, it, it, it was totally worth it. Mm. Wow, that looks really good, guys. Really good. Really good. Oh, yep, there you go. Now you gotta enter. Now you have to enter to win. If you're not entered already, definitely do so. Every five bucks is an entry. Oh my God, that looks good. It sounds so good. Oh man, ah oh man, I love this car. I really do. It's a great car. Precious cargo for the Mustang. Not gonna talk about it because I don't wanna get demonetized, but if I'm getting my stuff out of the truck, it's going in there. Now that we're back, and if you noticed, I uh, switched around the wheels on the ZR1, so they are now facing the correct way, according to, bless you, Boogie, uh, according to the internet. But anyway, now that I'm back, I wanted to kind of explain a little bit more what I was talking about uh, with these lights. So, um, for 2010, 11, and 12, they had the old style headlights like I had, and the bumper was like this. So they matched up with those previous taillights. In 13, when they went to a different tail light, you can see they made it more streamlined, I guess would be the word. There's not such a cut like there is on the 2012 tail lights. So when they did that, they made the bumper to match. So you can see the bumper comes down as well with a little notch on it. Now, because the new tail lights don't have that dip, uh, a lot of people say there's a big noticeable gap. Now, I will say, you know, like I was talking about in the shop, I think that if this was a bright colored car, like bright green or blue or white, or it, white would probably be fine because the black would match anyway. Um, you might notice that, but on this car, I mean, really, you can only see it because I'm talking about it and pointing it out, but it doesn't even look bad. And I, I see so many people on the forums like, oh, you know, I would get those lights, but I don't want the, you know, they don't fit a, 20, uh, a 2012 or 11 or 10 or whatever. Um, but I wouldn't let that stop you at all. I think it's really, I think people are really exaggerating the fitment and maybe I got lucky, like maybe maybe my car's better somehow, but I don't think so. I mean, that it looks, it looks like a design element. You really don't notice it at all. And unless somebody points it out, I don't think anybody would notice. So, I mean, I, I'm on this one, I gotta say, I think a lot of people on the internet are wrong. I think 20, 13 taillights will fit a 2012 11 10 easily with no problems um I, I say go for it i got these i don't know if i put it in the video or not because i didn't edit yet um <laughs> if i set it on camera but i got these off of a uh a wrecked boss 302 that's the way to do it because if you buy them new from ford it's like 1400 dollars for the pair it's crazy um so i would look for you know, like at a, a, a salvage lot, a junkyard. I would try to find one, a, a set off of a wrecked car and I paid uh, 550 bucks for them, shipped. 550 shipped from Kentucky. In your butt, cause you got no tail. This is my bulldog. He's got one eyeball now. He had to have some surgeries and had a lot of eye problems and we're very lucky that he's still here, but he's loving life. The great thing about dogs is, you know, like I, I was so sad when he got his eye taken out. But the great thing about dogs is like, they don't care. Like a human being would be like, oh no, I don't have my eye anymore. He doesn't mind, he just lives his life. We would have a, we, we would have a lot to learn from dogs. But yeah, he just lives, he loves it. He's, he gets spoiled now, spoiled more than ever now because people feel bad for him. So his grandmothers give him all kinds of snacks. 
He's a great boy. It's cloudy out right now. We can put on the garage lights and it's like daytime in here. Love it. Things are looking up. Oh. Just uh, moving the ZR1 out for a little thumbnail action. Thinking that uh, we could switch cars. Okay. And then you could take pictures of this. I mean, you know what I'm curious about? My God, I just, I don't know, I just, I love those taillights. That is perfection, boys. Big perfection.